Well, some of you may know that I've been doing some work on the barn, and the last thing I did was paint the barn, and for most of the project, I used this Wagner Control Pro 130. Definitely made short work of the project. It's pretty easy to use, so let me show you how to get started. First, we'll open it up, and here we have our hose, our gun, and our tip. Next, I'll attach the hose to the tank. Then I'll attach the gun to the hose, spinning the gun onto the threads. And then I'll tighten up, but not over tighten. This is the trigger lock, just so you're familiar with it. Now the trigger's locked, now it's unlocked. To get started, I'm following these instructions and priming the pump with water. Uh, a little water, just enough to cover that screen. Take this outlet, turn it into a waste bucket, and turn the dial onto prime, which is straight up. Just gonna dry off the inside with a rag, and then pour in the paint. You always wanna use fresh paint, or at least strain the paint so there's no globs of paint in here that would clog the, the sprayer. Again, I'm going to hold the return tube over the waste can and prime it until there's just paint coming through the return tube. Next, I'll turn the knob to the spray position and I'll turn the motor on. Once I turn the motor on, the motor's going to run until the hose is filled with paint. Now I'll hold the gun over the waste bucket and pull the trigger until any water that may be in the line is replaced with paint. Now I'll thread the spray tip assembly onto the gun and hand tighten only. Okay, now I'm set up and ready to spray. And there's a few things you should have close by. Number one is a rag so you can put the gun down. You don't want to lay the gun down in the grass or the dirt or on a deck. And you can also use the rag to maybe clean off the tip from time to time. Also have a paintbrush close by and you should wear a mask. To get a horizontal fan, you'll put the tip in this position and that's for spraying up and down. To get a vertical fan, you'll put the tip in this position and that's for spraying side to side. Okay, well that's about all there is to it. It is a pretty simple setup and it is gonna save you a lot of time. So take a little extra time in prep. Make sure you mask everything out, put down your drop cloths. You don't wanna get that overspray everywhere. And one tip that I thought was really useful was to use a piece of aluminum flashing and fit it underneath the shingles and that will keep any overspray from going onto your roof. And I also did all my cutting in around the fascia when I got close to the window trim with a two inch brush. So next, I'll show you how to clean up. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this tip off and put it in a bucket of water. Next, I'll empty the paint back into the paint can. I'm gonna use a brush to get most of it out. Now I'll take the return tube and hold it over the bucket of paint and turn the knob to prime. Next, I'll take the spray gun Make sure that I'm pointing it at the side so I don't make a mess. After you clean out the bucket, run water through the priming hose and just continue to do that until you have clear water. Then you'll run the water through the gun, spraying it into a waste container. Okay, well that's about all there is to it. You're just gonna run the water through the gun and through the return until the water's clear. For long-term storage, I would take the cleaning process a little further and you can refer to your owner's manual for that. I hope you found this video useful and as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.